Today, I thought I would take three portfolios from you lovely people and take them to the next level. Here's the first one, here's the second, and last but not least, the third. Now, a couple things before we get started. First, let me know which one you like the most, and second, if you want the full unedited version where I'm designing these on the fly from scratch with a voiceover, then check out the top link in the YouTube description. Alrighty, let's get started. First up is this portfolio, which has some issues with alignment and white space. The first thing to do is to redesign the logo and get the logo and the navigation aligned properly because currently they're not really aligned in a cohesive manner. things killing this design was the alignment and placement of their headline, subheadline, and call to actions, which was way over to the left and lacks white space around it. Here, I'm experimenting with ways to merge the photograph and the dark left rectangle in a unique way. I really like how the two end up merging to create a unique layout. And finally, on the lower right, I decided to add this section for our latest client in order to fill out the space. For the next entry, there's not much wrong with it, but it's a bit boring, so I'm going to use AI to help assist me in making this a bit more interesting. Now you're going to basically see me replicate the layout as is because there's nothing objectively wrong with it. Now in a bit, I will use Midjourney to generate a background asset. I had to run a few different prompts to get something that I liked, which I then take into Photoshop to modify so that it will work with this layout. For the fun of it, I created two different layout variations, which you'll see in the end. Now this one has a number of issues with topography, white space, color, etc. So we've certainly got our hands full. I'm starting here with the logo, but the logo is too complex. I end up doing a quick redesign later on. Yes, I am bringing back Mid Journey. I want a more unique particle based background. The particle design this person was using is from particles.js, which everyone and their mother was using five years ago.
see me experiment with layout ideas, I never know exactly what I want from the get-go. So again, if you're interested in seeing and hearing my thoughts as I design this in real time from scratch, you can check the top link here in the YouTube description. If you enjoyed this video, check out designcourse.com where you can learn UI, UX, CSS, and more with my custom interactive platform that makes learning fun and easy.